Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Optifine and I'm going to show you guys the best and optimal settings for Optifine to achieve higher and more FPS. So this is going to give you a much higher FPS boost than the normal Optifine would do. And if you guys are on a lower end PC or laptop, then hopefully this should further increase your FPS in the game. By default, Optifine is known as a shaders and performance mod, so these are going to be the best and optimal settings for Optifine, which you can change and further increase and boost your FPS in your game. I am on the latest release of Minecraft, which is version 1.17.1, and I have actually got the latest release of Optifine installed, so let me go into my options and let me show you that I am actually running the Optifine HD H1 Pre 3 Ultra version at the moment, and this is the latest release which you can actually obtain as of today's date. If you guys are watching this in the future, obviously you would have a much up-to-date version, but the settings should remain the same. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna actually reset my settings to the default. So I'm gonna go into the other settings and then I'm gonna click on this button here which says reset video settings. So this is gonna basically reset my Optifine settings. So if you guys are installing Optifine for the first time, these are the settings which you would normally see. I have actually gone ahead and turned down the render distance to eight chunks, but that should not matter because I am actually standing in the nether, as you guys can see, and let me just turn back the FPS counter. So as you guys can see right now, I am getting somewhere between 750 to 800 FPS. And this is basically a static shot. I'm just standing there. I'm not moving around and I'm getting close to 750 to 800 FPS. So hopefully once I've shown you guys the best and optimal settings for Optifine, then you should be able to get much more higher and more FPS boost in your game. Alright, so I'm going to show you all of the options which I like to change in the settings and stuff that I like to do in Optifine which helps me to achieve a much higher FPS boost. If you guys are running Lunar Client, then in Lunar Client you should also be able to do the same thing which I'm going to show you today because Lunar Client does also use Optifine as well. So let me go into my options and I'll start with the process and I'll show you guys the best optimal settings for Optifine on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1 to achieve higher and more FPS and get a FPS boost in your game. Alright, so if you press escape and go to options and then click on video settings, you will see this screen which says video settings. So we can actually go ahead and start changing the settings on this screen and then move on to the other areas like details, animations, performance, quality and then also have a look at the other section as well. So first of all, what I like to do is set my graphics to fast because that is the lowest we can set everything to. So the aim of the game today is going to be to actually try and set everything to the lowest setting, apart from a few things which actually need to be turned on and they need to remain on. But most of the stuff I'm going to show you today is going to be set to low or off. So we're going to set the graphics to fast. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn the smooth lighting to off and then turn this down to off as well. GUI scale, we can just leave that to auto. You guys obviously can change it to something else. It doesn't really matter. Brightness, I'm gonna leave it as moody. And dynamic lights, you can actually go ahead and set this to fast if you guys do want your torches to glare around your your character. I would not recommend setting this to fancy. So you can either set it to off or fast. So let's leave it as fast for now and then see how that goes. Obviously, we do want to make sure that the max frame rate is set to unlimited. If you guys only want to play on 60 FPS, then do change that to VSync. So that will actually sync with your monitor's refresh rate. So if you guys are on a 60 hertz monitor or possibly higher, then set that to VSync and that should be in line with your monitor's refresh rate. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to set this to unlimited. Okay, so for view bobbing, I'm going to leave that as on. Entity shadows is already set to off. So I'm going to leave that as it is dynamic FOV I'm going to leave that as on as well so for the settings in the video settings page I'm just going to leave everything as it is I'm just going to change the graphics smooth lighting and I've just changed the dynamic lights to fast and made sure that all the other stuff is set to off obviously view bobbing and dynamic FOV you can leave those as on if you want to okay if we go to the shader section we do want to make sure that our shaders are switched to off 
every time you do use a shader or you set new shaders your fps is going to tank so any type of shaders that you guys use you are going to get lower fps than you normally would had you been playing with shaders turned to off so if you guys are on a low-end pc or a laptop i would recommend basically turning your shaders off or using some of the settings which I am going to show you guys today and then trying your luck with the shaders. All right, so just make sure that your shaders are switched to off. Let's click on done. And now we can actually go to the details section. So let's go into the details button here. And as you guys can see, this does have quite a bit of stuff that we do need to change. So let's start with the top left for clouds. I am going to change that to off. You can also set that to fast, but I like to play with clouds turned to off for a much higher FPS for the trees. We can't actually choose off so we can either go with fast smart or fancy so i'm going to actually select fast for the trees and again for the sky i'm going to switch that to off sun and moon as well i'm going to switch that to off obviously if you guys are getting more than 60 fps do go ahead and switch those on but i'm going to switch these to off for the fog do leave that on fancy now this is very important if you guys switch that to off then what i did notice was that my fps actually did not increase so if i do select fancy then for some reason the fps actually increases by selecting fancy for the fog for some of you it might not work and it might actually be set to off so as you guys can see it says the fancy fog is available only if it is supported by the graphics card so if you guys are on a integrated graphics card you may not have that option so you can actually go ahead and select the fancy if your graphics card does support that obviously if you have the fast option go ahead and select that otherwise leave that as off so we are going to set that to fancy the translucent blocks i'm going to go ahead and select fast dropped items it's already set to fast vignette i'm going to select fast as well and then i'm going to put the entity distance to 50 percent and the biome blend to off as well as you guys can see it does say here in brackets it says fastest all right so for alternate blocks i'm going to switch that to off as well swarm colors off and then held item tooltips now this is optional if you guys want the tooltips you can leave that as on it doesn't really matter or you can switch it as off so let's leave that as on for now for the fog start i like to set this to 0.2 because even though we do have the fancy fog we are going to set that to a lower amount so as you guys can see it says the fog starts near the player so we can go ahead and switch that to a 0.2 i'm going to select off for show capes and then obviously the stars are going to be switched to off as well and rain and snow i'm going to select off as well and cloud height you can obviously change this around if you guys were using clouds but because i've switched clouds to off i'm also going to select off for the cloud height so as you guys can see most of the stuff here has either been changed to off or fast so if you guys are changing the settings on your system do make sure to turn everything down as much as possible and like i said earlier for the fog for some of you it might not have the fancy option it might only have fast or off so just go ahead and change that around and see which setting works best for you all right let's go back one level let's click on done now we can go to animations and it's quite straightforward in animations by default as you guys can see everything has been switched on so what i like to do is just click on this button here that says all off so that's going to basically turn everything off and for the particles it's going to set it to a minimal that is the lowest you can set for particles so you can either go with all decreased or minimal now obviously you guys can play around with these settings you can change them around but personally i just like to click on this button here which says all off and that will just go ahead and turn everything off we can now click on done and that should do it for the animations the next page we're going to go into is quality so let's go into that one and as you guys can see we do have some more settings here now starting from the top for the mid map levels i'm going to take the slider and switch it to off as well there we go and you will notice that in this section some of the settings are actually gonna make your screen refresh and it's gonna refresh the minecraft game so you will see a loading screen as well once you switch some of these settings off so do bear that in mind for emissive textures i'm going to switch this to off as well again you can see a loading screen there and better grass we can leave that as off custom fonts we can switch that to off as well connected textures again we can change that and lower the amount and i've basically set that to off as well custom sky let's switch that to off as well custom entity models let's go ahead and change that to the lower setting which is off 
distortion effects is already switched off so let's leave that as it is mip map type it's already set to nearest so leave that as it is and the aliasing obviously leave that to off random entities i'm going to switch that to off as well better snow is already off custom colors off as well custom items off natural textures was already set to off and then custom guis as well let's turn that to off so as you guys can see all of these settings are now basically being turned to off with all of the sliders switched to the left hand side to the lowest possible setting possible so in my opinion that's what i like to do i like to change everything to the lowest possible setting so go ahead and click on done and now we can go into the performance section here and there's only two options which i like to turn on in the performance section which is fast render and fast map for all of the other settings i just like to leave them as they are obviously you guys can read up about the other settings by hovering your mouse over them and then you can read up about it and turn it on and just play around with those settings and see if they give you a boost but for me personally i like to use the fast render and fast map and leave all the other stuff as off all right let's click on done let's go to other now there's not much to do here you guys can actually select show fps which will show the fps count on the top left corner of the screen there but because i am using another program i don't need to do that another option to change would be the auto save so by default this is selected to six minutes i like to change that to 12 minutes because i have noticed that when it does auto save it does give me a bit of a lag spike so if you guys want to avoid any lag spikes then you can go ahead and increase the auto save so i'm going to change that to 12 minutes obviously you guys can lower or increase that setting if you want to and for the rest of these settings we're going to leave them as they are i'm going to click on done and i think that should basically do it these are all the settings these are the best and optimal settings which i have found on my system which give me a much higher and more fps boost for minecraft on the latest release which is 1.17.1 so now i can actually go ahead and click on done click on done again and go back to the game and let's enable our fps counter and as you guys can see i am now getting a much higher fps than i was before it's now reaching close to the 1000 fps mark there so as you guys can see before i was getting between 700 to 800 fps but now i am able to get much higher fps than i was getting before obviously if you guys are on a low end machine you may not be getting a fps in the range of thousand but hopefully that should give you more fps than you were getting before when using optifine so you guys can see that the fps is now 1100 and has actually jumped to 1200 i am actually recording at the moment so my fps is actually on a lower side if i was not recording this then my fps would be much higher so just do bear that in mind so hopefully you guys will be able to increase your fps in your game and use these best and optimal settings for optifine on minecraft java edition 1.17.1 and hopefully it should increase and give your fps a much needed boost hopefully you guys have found this video useful if you have please do give us a like if this has increased your fps or it has helped you out or it hasn't increased your fps then do let me know in the comment section below and also please do subscribe to the channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching